Today, we're going to talk about a marvelous tree, natural rubber, from the species known scientifically as Hevea brasilense. It is a tree that is native to the Amazon basin, from the borders between Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. The large-scale exploitation of natural rubber took place in Colombia during a relatively short amount of time, a little more than half a century, between 1879 and 1945. Although its social and environmental impacts were of such magnitude that they are still felt in some areas of the country. The revolution produced by the automotive industry and, in general, by the mass production industries detonated an increase in the demand for natural rubber and contributed to raising its price in the world market. I've wanted to do a project that had several alternatives. One was planting rubber. Because I am a member of Procaucho and I wanted to plant in an area that was representative of the region and I also wanted to increase the carrying capacity for cattle. So I implemented this farm with dual plantings in double open grooves 13 meters wide where cattle can graze. You can begin to harvest natural rubber starting in the fifth or sixth year. For that, certain technical parameters should be met. One of them, which is fundamental, is the circumference of the tree, which must be a minimum of 45 centimeters, measured at a height of 90 or 1.3 meters. Now, we're going to mark it. The other parameter is what we call the bark depth, which is measured with this tool. This should be from 5 to 6 millimeters. After doing these measurements, we begin to do what was called, or is called, the tapping panel. What is the tapping panel? It consists in dividing the trunk in two parts, in two parts. Afterwards, with a sickle, we make the stroke at an angle of 33 degrees. Later, we can begin to cut the grooves. These grooves should be started no later than 6 in the morning because, physiologically, as the ambient temperature increases, the production of latex will decrease. Each harvester is given what we call a task. This task, which consists of how many trees he can tap in a day, is going to depend on the density of the plantation and it's going to depend on their ability as well.
Subsequently, we equip the tree. That consists of a vessel and of a conduit and the supports necessary to hold the vessel in place. Now, let's look at the processing of the rubber from the trees. This latex is destined for the international market. Here, we are going to see the traditional form of processing because to date, there's only one technically specified rubber plant which is located in Caquetá. And in some parts, like in Procaucho, where we have a little bit more advanced processes to produce technically specified rubber, because of the processing capacity, it is considered a small plant that can only process the rubber produced in Procaucho-affiliated farms. Here, we have the most traditional process, which consists of carrying the latex here. This latex is passed to the large cans after it's filtered. Subsequently, it is taken to the pens. We add more water. We add formic acid so that it coagulates, and the next day we do the laminating process. After this laminating process, it is placed to dry under shade, and after 10 or 12 days, you can put together what we call the rubber bullet. That is, in a nutshell, the way to process rubber. I want to finish by saying that for the area and for the country, rubber can be very important even for small farmers, since a producer with three or four well-managed hectares can generate enough production to improve their quality of life since they can increase their monthly income. One hectare of rubber in full production of this type of dry rubber is capable of producing an average of one and a half or 1.6 tons of rubber so we can invite the small farmers to grow rubber and, above all, to do it with associated farms since that can improve their profitability. Rubber has many uses. The main use is for tire production, where more than 60% of the world's rubber production is consumed. That's why it's necessary to have a processing plant that can process this type of rubber. It is the product of a tree that has some amazing properties which allow it to have a great deal of elasticity. This means that if it receives a hit, it is not formed, but retains its shape quickly. This is rubber's greatest advantageous property. <laughs> 